to more greatness today thanks to the department of science and technology let's now meet professor jan netling and etienne minna from the nelson mandela university i decided ah. to become a scientist and i was very interested in physics chemistry and mathematics also uh, to understand nature better because i was very curious about uh, the question why are we here Prof Nietling is the director at Center for High Resolution Transmission Electron Microscopy, an advanced materials research center using four state-of-the-art electron microscopes. So we use electron microscopes for our research. The electron microscope uses a beam of electrons and these electrons are moving at very high speed uh, through a specimen. Then one can enlarge the specimen so that one can uh, see individual atoms. These microscopes have become very advanced. We have electron microscopes that is used to look at the surface of materials and this can include also life science materials, plant materials, uh, fossils and nanomaterials. And then we have microscopes that you can use to look right through the material and determine where the atoms are situated and the nature of the bonds between the atoms, uh, defects in the materials. The Center for High Resolution Transmission Electron Microscopy has the only double aberration corrected transmission electron microscope on the African continent. And it's doing its part in passing on the knowledge to South African scientists and students so that they are fully equipped with the know-how of all the instruments which they can in turn use for future research projects. The microscope that you see here is uh, atomic resolution and it uses a special a system which corrects a defect in the lens. It's called spherical aberration and once this is corrected it enables one to see detail that is smaller than that of the atoms. It can analyze the materials, provide information of the nature of the bonds between the atoms, phases and many other important informations that we need to develop new materials. We also have a very special microscope and that is called a focused ion beam scanning electron microscope. These atoms can then prepare a very small thin slice of the material which we can lift out and then place in the high resolution microscope for further analysis. The center was established through a Department of Science and Technology initiative as well as the National Research Foundation and it's focusing on research into clean, safe energy, fuel cell and catalyst research, space science and biotechnology which are the key areas identified by the DST. We operate uh, as a national facility and therefore we have to support the research done by many other universities as well as industries in South Africa. And also we are training highly skilled scientists uh, who are then employed by these industries. One of the program's success stories is Etienne, whose involvement in the program in the United States has garnered him a couple of awards and respect within the global science community. He's now working towards his doctorate and becoming a lecturer. So this program offers lots of training for students. You don't need to be a master in anything, but you receive the necessary tuition and the training on the instruments to be equipped to be an independent researcher and to think as a scientist. So these microscopes are very safe to use. It is sufficiently shielded by layers of lead to protect the operator and the people in the room where the microscope is being used. So we are training masters and PhD students and also we are training highly skilled scientists uh, who are then employed by these industries as well as other universities and research institutions. My future plans of course is to be a scientist but to be an all-round human being and to be an intellectual person whether it is politically motivated, arts or even in science but also to convey my message and my teachings that I've learned through this program, whether to be at a high school or primary school, because science is a universal language and the skills that you learn, you can transfer it all around. After my PhD, I spent time in Germany at the Max Planck Institute and thereafter also at other institutes across the world where I learned from students and scientists in Europe. So I brought 
back all this uh, information and then decided that what we need in South Africa is also an advanced electron microscope facility. We specialize in advanced materials for energy technologies, beneficiation of the minerals that, that we have, nanotechnology, biomedical transmission, electron microscopy, assisting many other institutions with their research investigations. I'm from Utnek, a small town. Many people live and die in Utnek or in the Eastern Cape for matter, that matter, and never experiencing what's going on on the other side of the world. So again, this program granted me the opportunity and all of the students that's part of our center to travel and to learn from the world reading researchers and just grow as human beings. And that's how real we get on Real Talk to my guests. All of you tweeted, sent the voice notes. Uh, you watch every single day. We just want to say, Nkosi, I leave you with just two words about tomorrow.